Emotionally sensitive computers aren't anything new at UC San Diego's Early Childhood Education Center. For the past 10 years, toddlers here have been playing with a robot named Ruby. Who is that? Microphone. Ruby. Ruby kind of looks like a desktop Teletubby. She has a computer screen for a face, and she likes to ask questions. Where is the donut? When kids correctly tap the donut image on her iPad belly, Excellent. the smile on her cartoon face lights up. Is Ruby happy? But it's what's hidden inside Ruby that makes her really useful. Ruby contains three little cameras, each gazing out on the classroom. The cameras are able to identify each kid's face. And by reading split-second facial movements called micro-expressions, Ruby knows when they're feeling joyful, or when they're angry, sad, or frustrated. Instructors could potentially use this emotional data to reprogram playtime or to spot behavioral problems early on. But this technology, called expression recognition, has already graduated from preschool. Bye bye, Ruby. A group of researchers in this field recently founded a company in San Diego called Emotient. They're trying to commercialize expression recognition, and they've already found a foothold in advertising. At Emotion's office, lead scientist Marion Bartlett told me about their focus group with a few dozen Super Bowl viewers. We put a camera up on the wall, and we were able to measure their facial responses to the Super Bowl ads and have aggregate information about how they responded to the ads and how they responded over time and what was their emotional journey as they watched some of the different advertisements. Expressions of joy peaked a lot during an ad for Cheerios. Yeah, that's right. Pretty soon, you're going to have a baby brother. Less so for Denver fans, but still, people liked it. It's looking at me, there's a little gray box around my face, and it's going to tell me how I'm feeling. A blue box means joy. I could see why advertisers would want this information. When people fill out surveys, they don't always tell the whole truth. Faces, on the other hand, don't lie. And even if they tried to, computers could probably tell. In a study published earlier this month, Marion Bartlett and her colleagues proved that computers can tell when humans are faking pain better than humans can. Having a window into people's unfiltered reactions could help advertisers craft commercials for maximum emotional impact. Emotion to even lets them target ads to specific demographics. We automatically detect gender so that we can automatically split the results. Other emotion researchers are piloting different projects. Okay, Glass, show emotions. Researcher Josh Suskind let me wear the emotion-enabled Google Glass. I looked at him, and at the edge of my vision, I could see the box around his face changing colors along with his expressions. Suskind says these color-coded cues might help people with autism who have a hard time seeing emotion on their own. But the big money for emotion is in retail. For example, department stores could use cameras to pinpoint exactly when and where their shoppers are feeling most frazzled. But we could get information about how a particular employee is doing and whether that employee maybe needs some feedback or training on customer service. But gauging customer emotions like this sounds a bit creepy to Beth Givens, director of the Privacy Rights Clearinghouse. People don't like being manipulated and they certainly don't like, you know, their minds being read. I mean, this, this gets very close to mind reading. And frankly, I think that if uh, consumers knew that this was being used, say in a retail environment, they would be quite unhappy. Emotion says they don't store video or even still images of the faces they're reading. They only deliver anonymous emotion data. They take such precautions because even they know if expression recognition were synced up with personally identifying information, the ability to profile and target individuals based on how they're feeling could be abused. Feeling uneasy about all that? Emotions could probably tell if you are. David Wagner, KPBS News.